I love a good tracking shot. Um, we were just watching De Palma's, uh, what was it, Femme Fatale Femme, the other day? Femme Fatale. Not a great movie, but he no. does some incredible <laughs> steady cam work in that movie. Mm. Um, pretty much every single shot is in, in, in motion. Uh, yeah. Everything is... Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, I think one of the things that get, kind of gets my attention whenever I'm watching a movie is when I notice, like, they haven't edited... They have, there's no cut in here yet. Right. Yeah. And it's been like four or five minutes. And like, whoa, you well, know? He does it without even really drawing attention to it, which is amazing. Totally. You know, he kind of just lets the shot play out and the camera will move from one spot to another. Mm -hmm. And you don't get this sense. It's not like the tracking shot in Goodfellas where it's moving through the kitchen and you're basically following behind two people. Yeah. He's really drawing attention to itself. He basically is moving the camera instead of cutting. Yeah. So instead of like cutting to something across the room, he just moves the camera across the room. Yeah, that's kind of dope. But when though. somebody comes in through a door, he follows them through the door instead of cutting to outside. And it's difficult yeah. to do. I mean, was it uh, Alfred Hitchcock in Real Rear Window? Did um, he did a whole the whole tracking shot and just the staging of the entire scene? That in itself is super complicated because if you're in an audience and you're watching the, the movie and it takes you completely out just by noticing these camera moves. Like yeah. that thing. Yeah. Kind of takes you out of that element, you know. Have you seen the Reservoir Dogs table scene where they're sitting around the table? as the intro, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And they're talking about tipping the waitress. Yeah. 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 I like that's my kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Like I love it when when it's like. It's nonstop, and you can just tell. It's like that. That's part of the, the thing that that sells you into like, oh, now I'm in this world, mm. as yeah. opposed to like, oh, there's an edit. I'm clearly I'm watching a movie. You know what I mean? Totally. But when you watch something that's one take, and they're acting as if like there's no like, oh, line. Well, what's my line? It's very fluid. That really sells you on the whole, you know, movie. Well, Reservoir Dogs is really interesting because you can definitely see that Tarantino is still feeling out his yeah. own style in mm -hmm. that movie. You know, so and in that case, it's it's a little bit more unwieldy, and it, it has this sort of. Well, it does. It has a more uh, rough feel to yeah, it, it's which a I like. Raw. I love it. Yeah.